Hello, and let's discuss how easy it is to modify your pages. This is Drag and Drop Builder, so everything you can do by dragging the elements and position them on the page. The blue line will actually indicate where the widget will be placed. We call this all the elements widgets, because uh, that's how we name them in the platform. And every widget, depending in this case a button, has its own controls that you can see, such as edit, you know, link, in this case, styling of the button, so you can modify everything the way you want. So the, the text itself has different controls, the image has different controls, and if you double click, you can start editing any of these right away. Now, the content itself is organized into blocks, and in each block you have columns that helps you organize your content, which is very important for a good design. So in this case, we have one column for this content and one column for this content. And you can adjust how big you want these columns to be by using the handles. You can also do margins. You have this, you know, kind of light blue handles that you can use to create some paddings on the side. So you can just drag and create padding for the whole column on the side. This is how we made it here, for example. We have 2% on the sides. But you can adjust to have it the way you want. And it's really, really easy to modify your design. You also have paddings on the bottom and on top of every block. So this is a whole block that you see here. So if you want to add some padding on top, just do it like this. Just drag with the mouse. As well on the bottom, you can adjust what is the padding. And this way you can organize your content. We made it so that it is really nice and aligned, which is very important for a good design. Now, every block itself has its own settings. When you click on the block itself, you can change the background. You can add an image, you can add a video if you wish, or just change the color of it, maybe to something like this, light gray. Now you can distinguishly see how the columns are you know, positioned, because this column has white background. Now we can change that so that it's not white, and you do that from the column settings. There you can see the column settings in general, such as, you know, again, the background that you can change to something else or you can make it transparent so that it takes the background from the block. Now, you can leave it like this or if you want to use it as white, obviously this is not a good design because you have the text next to the, you know, the edge of the column. So in this case, it would be nice to use the padding of the column to adjust the content like this. And as you can see now, it looks a lot better. That's why it is important to use paddings and margins between elements to leave your design to breathe. Now, in this case, we see how we basically modified everything with just a few clicks and a few drags with the mouse. Now, obviously there is different settings for the blocks as well, such as negative margins, where do you want the position of the content, shadows, borders, etc. Now, what else you can do is between each two sections, you can also add a new block. If you don't want to build yourself all the blocks, you can use the one of the pre-made designs that we already have. As you can see, there is quite a lot of different designs for different categories. For example, you want to add some kind of, you know, services, you can just select one of the designs here and just place it with one click. Let's say this one. We just added it, we didn't have to design it and spend time. So now we can adjust, for example, the images, we can double click, select an image for that, you can change the text, you know, colors, everything you can modify the way you want. If you don't want it, you can just go on top of the block and just delete it again. Now, for this one, of course, you can add some padding as well. Make sure that your design has enough space to breathe. Now, if you want to use your, you know, create your blocks, you can also use the add widget. So from there, you can add different elements. Again, if you want, for example, to have an image here or, you know, anywhere, you can just drag it and add it the way you want. Just select an image and that will display here. We don't have any images, but you can upload and this is your file manager where you can store all the elements, as in this case, images that you want to show on your pages. You can add videos, uh, text, buttons, containers, you know, all sorts of different things to make sure that everything looks the way you want. And you can build all sorts of different pages either with elements or with already made blocks, which we have great array of different designs that you can use. Now, when you're ready, you can just click on save changes and you can continue with another page or different changes as well. You can do different things such as global styling. We have a whole video about that, but if you want to change the color globally, 
you can just select a different color and that will change all the places that the global colors are being used. So when you do any type of setting for, you know, a button, for example, or text, you can use the global colors and that can globally change throughout your design anytime from the global settings. If you want to add more text, for example, more fonts to your text, as you can see, you have around 15, 20. You don't like this? All right, no worries, you can add more. So you just go into the global styling and to add a font. There from the many 900 plus Google fonts, you can add a font that you want and that will display again into the text editor. We do that because we don't want to add all this by default because that will slow down your pages and we want to make sure that your pages are really fast. So that's why use only the fonts that you want to use. Now, we don't recommend more than four, but you can add up to eight different fonts. And personally, I do not recommend more than two fonts in a specific page funnel or a website. Now, what else you can do is you can also modify your pages. You can see how they look on mobile. Everything scales down very well. But if you want to do some changes, you can hide certain areas and show certain elements only on mobile. So anything that you add on mobile will only be visible on the mobile version. So that will not mess up with your desktop design. And this way you can modify everything. If you have a website, you also have a header and a footer that you can easily edit as well. But we have a video specially dedicated on editing your headers. Now these are the basics and it's really easy to use them and to basically build the most beautiful pages for your funnels, for your websites, for your online stores or anything that you're trying to do online. Again, if you have any questions, you can always ask us in the live chat or check out the other videos on how to do different things with the platforms. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.